Hello and welcome to Arrowhawk. Uh, today we're going to show you how to take a series of photos and GPS and turn them into a 3D map. Okay, so first off we're going to create a new batch. I'm um, just going to call this a test scene. And uh, okay. And now we have a, a side panel here where we can uh, input uh, the images we want to use. Uh, so I can um, just drag and drop uh, if I like. So let's uh, select all the images from my demo scene here. And as you see they appear in, in, in the sidebar. And now I'm also going to add uh, my GPS uh, which is just a bunch of comma separated value information. Um, and here I get my import dialog window. Uh, here I already have my data in uh, a local coordinate space. Uh, so first of all I, I'm going to specify uh, which information is in, in the columns. Uh, so here the file names are uh, of the images are in the file name uh, column. and uh, I'm going to specify I'm using a local projection because I've already got my information in northings and eastings. So uh, I select uh, the northern columns, the eastern column, and the vertical uh, is in the elevation meters column. And I uh, select the units. If I like, I can save this template of, uh, if I want to use this again. Uh, and now I click OK. And all of this GPS data has uh, appeared into this dialog. Uh, in the side. Now I can also import my ground control points at the it's yeah I can also do this later but it's easier to do it at the beginning. Um, so here I have uh, a similar dialogue as before. I specify oh, this file also has a header row and I specify the labels uh, for the of the ground control points uh, the column for this and uh, I also have a local projection um, using the same northern and eastern so you should put both your GPS uh, and ground control points should be using the same projection space uh, and elevation meters and I click OK and so now I have uh, all my data ready that I want to import into my to create my scene so now I click import uh, and all those files will be copied in, into the project I'm creating. Okay, uh, now I'm just going to skip ahead for a moment. Okay, so our import is complete. Uh, now we're going to check uh, the alignment uh, between the photos and the GPS. Um, if you're confident this is already correct, you can just skip this step and go to processing. But here we're going to uh, um, um, check. So uh, in a middle window we've got these black dots. These represent the locations of, of the GPS when the images were captured. And the blue dots on the represent the ground control points. Uh, and as you can see there's a highlighted, uh, the, the photo I've uh, selected uh, is highlighted here. And I can, uh, uh, and the thumbnail is shown in the right, lower right. So I can move through um, my capture and I can see the the photos from the thumbnails and I want to check that at the end of my rows the thumbnails are, are changing and jumping uh, so that's indicating uh, my uh, photos and GPS are aligned uh, so I get to the end of the row and I see there's a, a sudden jump there where it changes direction okay and so if I find I have an extra photo, then uh, I can uh, click on the, make sure the, the photo is selected here, and I can say delete selection, and that will cause all the photos after it to move up, and, and so the alignment will change. And if I find uh, I have an extra GPS entry, then I can select on the right hand column and delete the selection, and this will cause all the GPS to move up. Uh, and to change the alignment with the photos here. Um, also the the image names from the GPS